So logging on to Black Myth Wukong today, you would have seen you had an update. Today guys, we go through the entire patch notes, what they have done in regards to changes and more. Let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong on a weekly basis. To win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my Black Myth videos. So the more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. Okay, so the patch is 1.0.8.14860 and these are the patch notes. Now it's released now on both PC and PS5. So let's get into it. Starting with the major updates, say state, fixed an issue where enabling FSR could cause crashes for some players during startup or the prologue. Fixed a crash issue in certain areas of the webbed hollow when NVIDIA full ray tracing is enabled. Fixed an issue where hair would stretch abnormally. Optimized the hair effects of the Yaguai King. Ling Juzi, I believe that's pronounced. I apologize in advance, people. I'm absolutely terrible in names, especially in this game. In fact, in real life. I fixed an issue where abnormal blocks appeared on the ground in the bow scene for the Ying Yang fish on PS5. I fixed an issue where certain enemies could get stuck in motion in specific situations. Slightly reduced the stats of the Yaguai King Captain Wise voice. Fixed an issue where the attack from the Lesser Yaguai Lantern Warden in Pagoda Realms uh, could push players into walls. Okay. Fixed an issue where the Destined One could get stuck in performing whirlwind thrusts in thrust stance and become unresponsive. Fixed an issue where the Destined One could not switch stances properly in the sixth chapter. Fixed an issue where the Destined One could encounter stats error in specific situations. Uh, fixed an issue where the icon for the quest related to the Yaguai Chief Daywoist Mai would still appear on travel menu after the quest became unavailable to complete. Fixed an issue where the progress display for collecting portraits in journals was incorrect. Fixed some text errors in Chinese added translations for portraits in several languages and optimized existing translations, added translations for song titles and lyrics in music library in several languages and corrected display errors in English lyrics, optimized translations for talents, equipment and inventory in several languages and fixed some text errors, improved the layer of subtitles in several languages, optimized the translation of loading screen tips in several languages. And they go on to say, additionally, we have identified an issue where setting the system language to Turkish on PS5 could cause the game to crash on launch. Similarly, on the PC version, setting Windows systems language to Turkish may lead to occasional crashes during certain boss fights. If you encounter this issue, the current temporary workaround is to change the console language to English or another language via the PS5 main menu setting, then go into system, then language, then console language. For PC version, please change your Windows display language to English or another language via the operating system settings. So go to settings, then time and language, language and region, and Windows display language and they go on to end these patch notes with we are actively working to resolve the issue and fix it in an upcoming patch we apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused so there we have it guys one of the first major updates i think we've had to black myth with kong i really thought i was going to read this um seeing them nerf some bosses i'm so glad that is not the case now but yeah there we have it guys a short but sweet one today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one